Okay. You ready? Yeah, you're goofy. Do I have to like say my name or something? No. Alright. Alright. <laughs> so, um, one time, like we'd always go ride our dirt bikes because me and like my brother and my friend Kevin, we were back in, it was back in seventh grade, and I had like this little Kawasaki 110, but then I was, or it's like a dirt bike, it's like the green ones, and then I was using my older brother's dirt bike, so it was like the Yamaha. 125 so it was like has a little more torque than I'm used to and we were out by Cent well it's where Centennial is now but um, it's like the desert behind it like the pits I think is what it's called and we were riding out there and like we were getting pretty far like closer to the organs and then um, and then I thought I took a right or like we went to this one spot and then we stopped and I thought I saw a trail leading back to like a shortcut back to like where we were and then my brother and my friend Kevin, they went this one way, and then I went the other way, uh, the other way. <laughs> I went like the other route, and I thought it was a shortcut, and so I was going for like five minutes, and then I couldn't find them, and then I just like took a wrong turn, and it started veering off the, the opposite way, and then I was like, and then so I stopped, and I turned around, and I went back to the meeting point, and then I went on the, on the right trail that they did, but I took another wrong turn, like there was like a three-way split, and then, so I was like kind of getting scared, so I just like stopped on the top of a hill and just turned off my bike. And then I was like trying to listen to them or like for them, and I couldn't see them or like hear them or anything. And so I was like, then I started freaking out because I was like, I'm in by myself. So I started going like 60, well, not 60, I was going pretty fast, but like up and down the hills trying to find them, just trying to find my way back. And I couldn't find them. And then I started thinking to myself because I fell into this little bush, like I was just, I was like turning around, and like those loose rocks and stuff. And then I was all thinking to myself, oh, I'm gonna have to stay the night out here. Like it's because it was like already dawn, so it was like, or not dawn, but like, it was like getting dark. So, <clears throat> so I was like, they're, they're gonna have to call helicopters and stuff. I was like 12 years old at the time, so I was like a little, little kid, but I was like. <laughs> And I was like thinking how my dad's gonna feel and stuff. Like they're gonna have to send the team out for me and stuff. And I was like doing this thing, a little fake cry. And I was like, <laughs> it was so weird. I don't know why I was doing it. And then I like I was talking to myself in my head. I was like, no, niece, you gotta pull it together. Like what are you doing? Like you gotta stay strong out here. And so I was like, all right. So I like got back on the bike and I was still going fast. Like. But then I wasn't even on the trail anymore. I was just like cutting through the trails, just trying to find my way back, just going in like the general direction. And then I hit, the, I like bottomed out on like one of these little hills and like my oil plug fell off. So like my legs were like full of oil, but I was just still going and like, you're not supposed to ride with no oil. And I was going and then the bike shut off after like two minutes. And then so I was like, so I turned it back on and so like after a few tries or whatever and then it just went to a point where it couldn't ride anymore and I, at that point like I kind of knew where I was so I just threw the bike, it's kind of not, not smart at all but I just ditched the bike like and it was like on its side and I took off my helmet and started running like I just took off my gloves and like we still couldn't find my helmet like to this day like we never found it because I was just I just started running and then I saw this lady walking on a trail and then I just like, hey, miss, can I use your phone? So I called my dad and I was like, hey, like, I'm here. I just like, I just told him where I was at. And he was like, what do you mean? Where are the other ones? And I was like, what do you mean? I'm the one you guys are probably looking for, you know? Cause I thought my brother and my friend made it back, but they didn't as well. And so I was like, what are you doing? And then he, at that point, he like went on the road and he found my bike and like then we didn't go back for my helmet. Cause like it was in the desert, like when I was running, like no trails or anything. And then we got my bike and then we saw or we tried calling my brother well, i don't even think he had a phone i don't know if we tried calling him or not but <laughs> but anyway he was like him and my friend were at like the farm and ranch museum i think they had to go to the bathroom or something <laughs> and so they would and they couldn't find me either so i was like and then what happened and then they found him my dad was my dad was kind of mad because i ditched the bike and the oil plug and like he, we had to go get get it fixed and everything, and then we sold our dirt bikes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's about it. I think.